Hello everyone. Today we are precipitating cobalt as cobalt uh, mercurate arsenate. Here we have about 25 ml of distilled water, 5 ml of uh, mercury chloride and 5 ml also of ammonium arsenate. And we have 0.25 ml uh, gram of uh, ammonium cobalt sulfate. Okay. First step is to add this 0.25 gram of cobalt sulfate to the pool. To it. Okay, less than one mole so that we don't distribute the. Okay, we must replace it with another one. So, wait a little guy, I will be the way. Okay, can do it like this just to add a little distilled water. Okay, and you can add it to the beaker that you're adding to, okay? Then you add about 25 ml of distilled water to it, okay? And we stir a little, you must dissolve it completely. This 0.25 ml of the gram of uh, this material. This thing is so difficult. Okay. It's nearly dissolved, just a little tiny piece of this material, okay, then we add those little devils, five more of each other, okay, of the simplest experiments of analytical chemistry, okay, then we stir for about five minutes, it's a long time, my hand will be cut. After about half hour, our solution has been digested. As you can see, it was colorless and it's been turned into blue. Okay, now we must filtrate it. After that, we wait it and we can calculate the yield and percentage. Okay, now we must you know how to do the filtration process. It must be accurate. Filtration paper must be wet a little. We must wet it with the distal water. Okay. So the first stage, see how filtration will be a cork. Next year you need it. Okay. Wait until the water came in. Would you like to come closer, please? Now we add our solution to the filtration paper in the funnel here. Okay. Here is our uh, analyte, which is cobalt uh, mercurinate thiocinate. It's a uh, pretty dangerous, pretty poisonous. You cannot uh, do the experiment without your gloves. And it's be better if you have. Uh, you know okay, now we we'll continue adding the solution. Now, if you have some some precipitate left, okay, you can wash it with the distilled water, or some experiment need another washing uh, reagent. This one you can use the distilled water simply. Okay. That's nearly everything today. You just need to filtrate it well, and you'll have good results. I hope you get all good results in your experiments. Thank you for watching.